Victoria Voldemont. I'm Vivian Burson. We're and from Cherry Creek High School. And we're state champions. Time for the Magic Rally. One, two, three, four. There's just something about state championships that just make you love life. Hi, everybody. It's a good day to have a great day. I'm Scotty Gange. The 5A state girls championships, deservedly and rightfully so, all went down to the wire. Fairview juniors Virginia Gomolka and Lizzie Roth took on the undefeated pair of Victoria Moldovan and Vivian Burson from Cherry Creek. It went into a final tiebreak where the Bruins earned the 5A doubles state championship to close out their high school careers. And now we get to go to prom later tonight, yeah. saying we want to stay. What's the vibe going to be at prom like for you tonight? Oh my god. Though? The prom of champions. The That's prom the of vibe. champions. I grew up with her on this tennis team, and I couldn't be happier to win it with my best friend. And on the single side, Lily Shatomber cemented herself in the history books. The Boulder senior won state last year. Uh, it feels great. I, didn't, I honestly didn't expect it, so I'm really happy. And repeated this year for the Panthers. I was so nervous. Last year I had like nothing to lose really, but this year I felt like I had a lot of pressure and I was just really nervous. So <laughs> yeah, I felt better this year, I guess. Ooh, in Loveland's, Belen Geis took home the 4A state championship. I'm still processing it, but that was one of my goals this year and it was just awesome to have that come to fruition actually. <laughs> And in the 5A Swimming Championships, here's Jack Ballard, the Fort Collins star, winning the 200-yard freestyle, showcasing himself as one of the fastest swimmers in Colorado with an extra dive to celebrate. Before the race, I was super nervous about it, and when it actually happened, I just wanted to let out some excitement. And the relay squad of Kate Martin, Carson Morris, Liam Beckerman, and Jason Fan of Creek, they took home the 200 medley relay together. Uh, it's just great. It's really good to bond with us through the season. We've been doing this at just about every dual meet, every invite. We've gotten really close through it. Hey, this is pretty cool. The Denver Public Schools Volleyball Championship. It's Denver East and South. Here's South's Parker Randall's the spike and the flex too. But East, they'd grab the win and take the league title. Here's freshman Griffin Gates throwing down the championship point. Jefferson Academy and Colorado Academy. J.A. and C.A. This one was awesome. Here's J.A.'s Trevor Singdara hits in two with the double. And then the kid did it on the defensive end. The center fielder with the fireball throw to catcher Justice V to save a run. Hey, how about a young star on the rally this morning? Freshman Jordan Ryder had 11 strikeouts on the mound for Colorado Academy. This one went all the way to the bottom of the ninth inning. And here's the hero of the day. Frazier Smith hits in the tying run. And then the winning run too. Walk-off winner for the Mustangs. Hey, this one was sent in to us. Lucas Brennan, you are so, so, so cool. Northfield was down by seven runs against Denver East. They come all the way back. Lucas drops a walk-off grand slam for the Nighthawks with the stare. They win this one, and it puts them in position to win their first ever DPS championship. A Brady bunch of homers. Mullins' Andrew Brady hit three bombs in one game. A hat trick. Mustangs, they of course were victorious, but the big winner of the day is that guy, Andrew Brady. <laughs> this was shared with us. Sports at 9news.com is our email. Chloe Rafferty of Northfield. It's the freshman's first ever varsity game, first ever varsity shift, and that's the first goal for the kid. The youngin' in the playoffs. What a star. Nighthawks, they win this one by eight. Many, many, many times am I reminded why high school sports are so fantastic. But if one announcer from Craig, Colorado can't convince you, then I don't know what will. So here's Moffitt County and Middle Park. Moffitt County was down two runs in the last inning, and Ryan Peck hits a three-run homer to win the game. But the thing is, I think their announcer was more fired up than he was. And he just put that out of Craig! You dared to tip the dragon! And he bit back, and now it's time to drop the hammer! Things you absolutely love to see. Hey, I'm Scotty Gaines. We'll see you next week with more of the fun right here on the Nine News Prep Rally.